Good afternoon, everyone. We'd like to welcome you to the Mesa City Council study session for the afternoon of November the 4th of 2024. <coughs> Uh, Vice Mayor Heredia is unable to attend as, and is excused from this meeting. All other council members are present. Uh, item one on our agenda today is to review our agenda for the council meeting that follows this one. Uh, again, I know we uh, had a good discussion of these items on Thursday, but council, any additional questions for anything that's on tonight's agenda? Mr. Freeman? Thank you. We're going to leave 7A. I know there was a discussion on that last study session, so that will remain on consent unless there's a blue card pulled uh, this evening in City okay. Council. Thank you. Great. Thank you for your efforts working on that zoning case. Council, is there anything else on tonight's agenda that you'd like uh, any additional information from? Okay. Hearing none, uh, we will move on to item two. Item two is to acknowledge receipt of meeting minutes. Is there a motion to that effect? Thank you, Mr. Summers and Ms. Billsbury. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Are any opposed? Thank you, that passes unanimously. Uh, final item is uh, current events and conferences attended. Council members, I know we've, I, I, uh, I know we're gonna wanna talk about the, uh, the, the naming that we were, uh, ceremony today, so. Well, I, I, the one that can say it. <laughs> well, I, I do. I am prepared to talk about something very special that happened this morning. When, uh, when we first uh, adopted our our uh, land acknowledgement uh, a, a few months ago, we made a commitment to making sure that there would be more than a more significant than a statement on a piece of paper. Uh, I think it's a great tradition that we're using that at the beginning of our meetings now. But again, we want to make sure that it's. Uh, it's, it's not just a box that we check, that it's something that, that uh, is, is the way that we do business. Uh, so it, it, that, it had to be followed by meaningful action. So earlier today, Governor Hobbs and the leaders of the four southern tribes, that's the, the, who are our adjacent neighbors, that's the Gila River Indian community, the Salt River, Pima, Maricopa Indian community, the Ak-Chin and the Tohono O'odham, joined us uh, at the, the Mesa Grande Cultural Park uh, for a renaming ceremony uh, for that facility. It was a very reverent and historic event. I think everyone who was there will, will tell you it was uh, quite special. Uh, and it was the first time that the leaders of the four southern tribes had gathered at that site, which was somewhat significant. Sure. Uh, so from today going forward, the site name will be, and this is a very meaningful name, Tudog Muvalvaki, which means blue fly dwelling. Uh, the name carries tradition and stories of in indigenous people who have been stewards of this land for generations. I got to tell you, I, I met with some of the local tribal leaders uh, when we were talking about first doing this, and they said, oh, we know the name of that facility. There's a, there are historic songs that our people have sung for generations about that facility. So uh, it has a name. And so really what we've done today is, uh, is just restore the name uh, that... Uh, that uh, the native people had already associated with that place. Uh, Mesa is proud to work with our tribal partners and the tribal leaders to amplify Native American history, traditions, and our shared values. Uh, I have I've also proclaimed November as Native American Heritage Month for the city of Mesa. So again, I just want to express uh, my appreciation, and I know I speak on behalf of our council, our appreciation to the, the staff who in a very intentional and um, and appropriate way engaged with uh, our Native American uh, partners uh, and neighbors to do this in a way that was respectful and meaningful to them. Uh, and I think uh, it, uh, it will bear fruit uh, in our relationship going forward with, with our neighbors uh, going forward. So thank you very much. Um, other items that we'd like to talk about, Council? Ms. Billsbury. <coughs> It was a beautiful, beautiful ceremony this morning. So thank you to everyone that was a, a part of that. Um, uh, last Thursday, I attended the Children's Action Alliance um, Champions for Children Awards luncheon. Um, thank you to Sarah Toller who went with me to that. They are a great nonprofit, a statewide nonprofit that helps advocate for families, children, education. Um, that was really a great experience. And then Friday night, um, I, Melissa and I attended the Jefferson Recreation, um, Jefferson Elementary, um, Recreation Center Fall Carnival that they have there, and that was put on by our City of Mesa Parks and Rec. Um, so huge thank you to them for doing a big fun event like that in that neighborhood over there. Um, Saturday morning, I got to go volunteer at the United Food Bank with our Mayor's Youth Committee. 
that was really fun. Thank you um, to our, our mayor's youth committee and to your staff mayor that's, that is in charge of that, putting all those events together for them. They're, they're great kids and um, we had a great morning doing that. Um, this morning I got to go speak at a couple of classes at Benedictine um, about local government and the importance of, of local government and leadership. And I love doing that. And then also Councilor Duff and I this afternoon went um, to the Paul Revere Academy that you attended last week um, over at EVIT, their high school that is helping foster kids um, get through school and get EVIT um, certifications and be successful in the world. So I love what they're doing over there. And that's it for me. Great. Thank you. Council, anything else you'd like to share with us? Jen. This side of the table, that side of the table did go game night? No? 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 Yeah. 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 Of course yeah. I did. I heard you had your own block party. No? Uh, Is that true? Well, I went to a really, no. I, oh, okay. I went to other people's block parties. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Good, good. Well, Saturday um, afternoon into early evening is um, the annual game night. And Chad, our community action officer in Central, uh, took me around to the parties, and uh, they were really good. We have a very active senior committee um, um, community in Encore. Lots of questions about our city. Um, uh, one of the parties, they had uh, a band and a wonderful potluck, and so, um, and some of our uh, Penny Lane and uh, Melody on Main and some others. Um, had their block parties and so I want to thank everybody for organizing their neighborhood and for the event and for all the Mesa staff garbage trucks are out there and fire trucks and police officers oh I went to um, Kleinman Park that was jammed with people so many people mm -hmm. and uh, the get fit uh, crew was there and I'm sure th that their work throughout time and really um, empowered the um, neighborhoods to attend. So thank you to everybody on that. Also on Friday, I attended the um, 2024 um, Arizona Forward Sustainability Summit. I was there with Scott Boucher, our Director of uh, Sustainability and Energy Resources, and Laura Heineman. as a long discussion about our air quality and the predicament that we're in in Maricopa County with the EPA and the measures that we can take to try to correct them. So it was a, a, a good discussion. Um, I think that's about it, thanks. Great, thank you. Anything else, Council? I, I'll just say I went to Gay Night as well. A lot of great um, get-togethers at several different neighborhoods in District 5, and I just wanted to say thank you to Commander Red Wing. Sorry, Scott. <laughs> but I. I we had we had to sh we have to share our commander right now. Get your own. <laughs> yeah, I, I will. Just a matter of time. Um, and Tara Hall as well that came. So um, I'm very grateful for them for co going with me. Thank you. Well, I got to go with Chief Cost, so uh, <laughs> I'm not going to apologize for that. The chief, chief, that was uh, we're lucky to have a police chief, and I'm sure he'd be happy to be shared with as well. Scott. All right. If we're going to do this, let's do this. So, <laughs> Mayor, you mentioned the other day the, the Fuel for Dreams, I think it was yes. referred to. So Mesa Police goes out and uh, will pump fuel, and they are raising money for the Special Olympics. And the numbers are in. So Mesa PD raised over $3,500 that night. Red Mountain, $853. Uh, Fiesta was 834, Central 325, and Superstition $1,505. Wow. So, way to go, Superstition wow. Division. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you. We pre appreciate that. So, again, this is the police uh, department uh, out pumping gas and raising money. So, yeah. no, no washing windshields. No. Uh, I, I tried. They wouldn't give any to me. Okay. Actually, the commander got all the money. He <clears throat> actually. Fantastic. Well, thank you to our police officers for doing that. Council, anything else you'd like to share? Mr. Freeman. Yeah, I also participated again, and I was really impressed by our neighborhoods and everything that they do, the camaraderie, and uh, I appreciate the community action officers that uh, drove us around. And we're there, you know, it, we started early, earlier than most years, I, I think. Started maybe about 4 o'clock, got done about 9 o'clock. But this time, we started at 3 o'clock and probably got done about 7. So. 
it was a long evening and I appreciate the officers uh, being there. And, and I think the relationship between our police department and fire, and yes, the new garbage truck, that would show up, the, the mini truck showed up, that was pretty cool to see that one, uh, as well as other uh, city vehicles. So appreciate all that went into that. Great Good time, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Council, anything else you'd like to share with us? All right, Mr. Brady, what does our schedule of future meetings look like? All right, Mayor, Council, so we'll uh, meet again uh, this Thursday, November 7th for our study session. And then just as a reminder, November 14th, that following Thursday, the, that meeting has been can canceled because of the NLC conference. And then we'll meet again here on Monday, November 18th. So there will not be a Thursday meeting to review the agenda for the 18th. So we will try to get that out um, as early as we can, but if you have questions on the 18th agenda, uh, we encourage you. And we may do some presentations this Thursday, um, knowing what's coming on the 18th, but please, please feel free to call me or staff uh, regarding that agenda on the 18th, because we won't have a meeting before uh, the 18th to review that with the council. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Ms. Pillsbury. We have our Veterans Day Parade on Monday. I guess we could say that on Thursday, huh? <laughs> just, just so that it's on everyone's calendar that that's always happening on Monday the yeah. 11th, yeah. That's right, that's gonna be, gonna be big. Yeah, well, and, uh, and then also the, the day before, it, I, I keep wanting to people to remember yeah. oh, yeah. that the RAF oh, yeah. uh, Cadet uh, Memorial uh, is something not to be missed as well. All right, but we'll remind people of that on Thursday morning. Okay. Well, that concludes our agenda. There's a motion to adjourn this meeting. Thank you, Mr. Summers. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Thank you. We are adjourned, and we will reconvene at 545 upstairs.